know if you believe that, but it just seems like that lately, anti-life trends are coming up. Anti-life trends towards children are coming up. Children don't want to live anymore. Some children are resenting the fact that they haven't been born. Last February, a 27-year-old Indian man named Raphael Samuel announced, he basically announced plans for an unusual lawsuit. He was going to sue his parents for begetting him, for bir birthing him. He said, it was not my decision to be born. Human existence is totally pointless, he said. At least that's what he told the BBC. His complaint was that it is wrong to bring new people into the world without their consent. He wanted to sue his parents for a symbolic amount of money, such as a single rupee. He said, I want to do it to instill the fear among parents in general, because now parents don't think before they have a kid. Now, the notion of having children may be a bad idea. It seems to be gaining mainstream popularity now, but when we hear about it, it's most often in the context of climate crisis. Activists are worried about bringing children into a world threatened by, raising, by, by the rising seas, mass displacement, and other calamities they say they're going to happen in the next 12 years. The idea of wishing you've never been born is called antinatalism. And there are plenty of antinatalists out there. However, their belief is that procreation has always been and always will be wrong because of life's, because of life's inevitable suffering. So what is similar about both antinatalists and climate activists is that they are seeing an increase in attention due to general pessimism about the state of the world, giving both more opportunities to garner support. So the bottom line is, if you give up, you decide to give up that which you value, the most you will gain from resources in the future is promised to you. At least it was promised to uh, the, the Canaanites when they worshipped Moloch. But in this case, it's that if you give up your children, or if you decide you're not going to have children, or if you give up the progeny of the future, then maybe there'll be a future. It doesn't make any sense. It's very counterintuitive. Moloch is the demon that represents the hate of the current system of life. Moloch is the demon who declares and throws what you love into the flames. And if you throw what you love into the flames, Moloch, the demon, Grants your power. He promise you, he will promise you high yields for your land and victory against your enemies. Moloch is the god of zero-sum existential competition. And you wonder why children are worried about their future. 877-733-1011. We go now to Dave. 